Renasa. All right, so Coop drives into the middle of the cornfields based off of that striped pattern that we just saw. It turns out they find NASA. <laughs> don't you know who we are? No, Professor, I don't. We're NASA. NASA. The same NASA you flew for. I heard they shut you down for refusing to drop bombs from the stratosphere on the starving people. So super cool, super cool that you find NASA and it's like exactly the job that he used to have, right? And the thing that caught my attention was that they were, one, they refused to drop bombs on starving people and two, they were asked to. So why why were they asked to drop bombs on starving people? I mean, I, I have no idea. If you got a bunch of starving people, just, just, just wait. If you want to kill them. Just, yeah, I mean, but just, yeah, I guess that that is right. Just chill. Yeah. Okay. Problem will take care of itself. It's a yeah, it's a self-solving problem. You just wait and then uh, get ready with shovels. To, in fact, in fact, you wait a little bit and then the problem solves itself for a little bit until they start star- starving again. And then you wait a little bit longer and they're gone. Why would they starve a second time? Oh, the first round with cannibalism. I see. I mean, hey, as long as it's not happening near me. Why am I going to go out of my way to bomb them? Okay, can I tell you my, my hypothesis? <laughs> my hypothesis was that that they were asked, the NASA was asked to drop bombs because, like, before they're fully starving, they're a drain on resources. So if you see okay. the problem coming that they're going to not have enough food soon, then you're like, mm, I gotta reduce the population. Okay, I see it, but then why not have the Air Force do it? Is NASA retrofitting? Planes and rockets yeah, with bombs. Actually, yeah, that's a good point. So they said why they said that <laughs> Coop said that NASA wouldn't drop bombs from the stratosphere. Why would you go to the stratosphere to drop a bomb? <laughs> you don't gotta go that high. <laughs> that's right. You can get like a helicopter. What do you see going on here? Yeah. And and you have the military force called the Air Force that's, that's trained right. up on how to drop bombs mm-hmm. with the equipment to do it. Why is NASA doing this? Interesting. Gosh, maybe the not the normal branches of military went rogue, <laughs> and so and so oh. like, the government's like NASA, <laughs> fall in the mine. <laughs> we don't we don't do that. <laughs> I mean, how many planes does NASA have? They don't have bombers. They're like get it bombs. done. Thousand get it done in your experimental up. test flight craft. That's right. <laughs> we don't we don't have any rockets to drop bombs. Fly the rockets into the cities. Like, sir, our rockets go up. <laughs> yeah. Make them go down. What? <laughs> cool. Yeah, I, just, I don't know what I'm saying. Yeah. I'd still work for them. It's super cool. So I think I think with the what you're what we're saying though is that there was lots of people, there was some huge famine caused mm-hmm. by the blight, and they wanted the starving people were drained on resources, and somebody made the call to reduce the population so that everybody else could survive. At some point in the past, That's right. I think we also encountered this in The Last of Us, mm-hmm. where like they were, where the military came in and killed healthy people, but because like they couldn't sustain the lives, the food supplies, and the shelter for everyone, they're like, kill them now before they be turned. Like, yeah, hmm. brutal. But I get it. But also, oof, I don't want to be in that situation. But I get yeah. it. Yeah. This though, so they're NASA. Yeah, I see rocket engines. Yeah, NASA stuff. Yeah, and then if we go to the left, I see. Well, this is the the huge building with the uh, what is this um, this craft in it? Oh, uh, the the Ranger. The Ranger. Yep, on mm-hmm. top of a missile. Mm-hmm. Right. So we got and we've got all this infrastructure here. And if we go to the left again, inside the Ranger is I send all these screens, which requires all the software. We got robots and. We got to do maintenance. Oh and gosh, parts even just and, the manufacturing of this stuff. Yeah. So this NASA is some secret thing up in the mountains, but like, we what about finances? What about supply chains? What about suppliers? What about contractors? What, what about this is not an easy thing to just do in secret. You have there has to be some sort of infrastructure in place mm-hmm. for it to to occur. It just it felt like it was just kind of ignored. Like how is this in place if everything's collapsed? NASA is like the tip of the spear. That's right. So it needs all this support structure beneath it. And if that doesn't exist, how is NASA existing? And, and all of that would be noticeable too, especially in a population that's like significantly smaller mm-hmm. than whatever it was in our heyday. Right. Like to have this operation is substantial. Substantial. Yeah. 
number of people, mm. the suppliers, the resources, mm. the time, mm. the training. People that's, would notice. That's like a a secondary plot problem. I see it. Mm-hmm. I see I see why you're not happy. Okay, okay, <laughs> no, let's move on. <laughs> yeah.